Welcome to the demonstration of the NG911 GIS Validator. The Validator is an easy to use online application developed for emergency services data providers to validate their GIS data against the NINA GIS data model. In this video, we'll go over the validation process and the reports that are generated. To log in, you'll need an ArcGIS organizational or personal account. Once you've logged in, you'll then be prompted to choose a file that you want to have validated. This file must be a zip file and only contain a file geodatabase or shapefile. You cannot have a zip file embedded within the zip file. We then hit next to have the application process the data. And what it will be doing is attempting to match the supplied data layers against the NINA data layers, as well as supplied attributes against the NINA attributes. We will also look at domain values. Once completed the processing, the output will be in table format and in graph format. Here is the uh, site address point and showing the attributes that have been matched by the application to the NINA attributes. So you can see here that we have matched five out of seven mandatory attributes, 12 out of the 21 conditional attributes, and six out of the 18 attributes. Here we have a feature summary for any one of the layers that has been submitted. In this case, it's the site address point. Showing are the number again of mandatory, conditional, and optional uh, attributes that have been passed, but also showing any unmatched attributes as well as unmatched domain values. We can move on to the mandatory and see what has been matched for each one of the layers. Again, in this case, the site address point. You can see that matched has been five and two have been unmatched. Showing here are the matches for the attribute type, the attribute length, the domains, and any nullable fields. Moving across, we can then see under the conditional attributes how the matching has been done. Again, the same matching criteria of attributes matched, attribute type, attribute length, domains, and nullable. And then we have the optional attributes. We also have a tab which shows the NG911 specifications, and this will give you all of the information you need to have your uh, data in a format that will pass the validator tests. Next is a report tab, which gives you the output of the processing as scores for every attribute that was checked. You, if you get a zero for a particular attribute, that means it did not pass. And if you get a 10, you have passed that attribute test successfully. You can actually download this information in a download package, which will give you not only the report, but the graphs in PDF and spreadsheet format. If your data did not pass all of the tests, you must go back into your uh, file geodatabase or shapefiles and fix the data and then resubmit it. 